Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to be talking about monsters. We've got 11 games where you date them, breed them, fight them, and even one where you play as one. Hopefully by the time we're done with this list, everyone will have found a game they will enjoy. First up is Subverse. This turn-based tactical RPG Dan McCoo dating simulator coming out later this week has all sorts of monsters. Dr. Lily will help you research and grow your very own manticores to interact with your whole band of Krufus. Not to mention the deadly Captain Killy, who looks like a cross between Diablo and Captain Harlock. But never forget that the true monster is Patreon for permanently banning Project Foul. Look for my full review Friday. From sci-fi mutant sex monsters, we go to Peasant's Quest. This fantasy RPG is the standard hero's journey. Well, standard in that you have the option, nay the mandate, to copulate and potentially impregnate every female you come across. This includes goblins, ogres, elves, vampires, and dragons. What about the size issues, Annie? It's magic. We've got potions and craft for all of that. I think there is actually some grand immersive story, but you'll have to wait for a full review. This video is about the monsters. Sticking with the fantasy impregnation theme, we have Breeders of the Nephilim. Now, I know that there's this whole monster girl slash furry mean girls factionalism thing going on, but when I asked what is the difference, I never got the same answer twice. In this game, you get to interact with anthropomorphic versions of cows, dragons, serpents, spiders, foxes, butterflies, centaurs, cats, plants, dogs, slimes, titans, and all sorts of sprites and imps. Which count as monsters and which count as furries, I have no idea. Where does Fern, really Fern? Where does Fern the plant girl get classified? Let me know in the comments. Moving to a darker fantasy, did you ever find yourself playing an old school Castlevania game and say, I sure wish I could have sex with these monsters? Congratulations, you now know the plot of Midnight Castle Succubus DX. This 8-bit title was in my top new Steam games of 2020, and it's a surreal Metroidvania-style adventure. The most surreal entry on this list is probably Fallen Doll Operation Lovecraft. This VR game was in my top 5 Patreons of 2020, and it looks like Aliens meets Cthulhu. Currently, you can set up some of the best-looking sexual interactions in the industry to make your own scenarios, but we have been promised actual gameplay by the end of the year, Here's to hoping, but it still looks so good. That may be the list's shortest game, but the longest is definitely Roundscape Adorbia. This humorous RPG is huge. In this epic journey, you are able to interact with all sorts of monsters and demons, as well as a one-eyed tentacle companion, Ruli, who is absolutely best girl. Look for my full review next week. Cloud Meadow is another game that got a full review this week. This theme title also bridges the furry and monster schism with a focus on farming and breeding with a healthy dose of turn-based combat. There's a ton of fantastical and mythological creatures to interact with whatever gender or sexual orientation combination you desire. Sadly, I don't think you can breed with the giant floating whale yet, but feel free to petition the developers for the sake of whale-chan. Fantasy breeding titles seem to dominate this list, and here comes another with Corrupted Kingdoms. In this game, you die, spoilers, and wake up with magical powers and knowledge of alternate worlds full of demons, fox girls, cowgirls, elementals, trance, and a bartender to pursue, dominate, and impregnate. I mean, are there any other viable uses of magical powers? I don't think so. Speaking of unfettered powers, our next title is a game that requires a really good computer, Wildlife. This is one of the top earning games on Patreon, and it takes place in an open world orgy. This game is gorgeous, and you can interact with anthropomorphic lions, tigers, and rhinos. Oh my! Oh my is definitely what I said when playing as a dragon in Ravager. You would think that I would have realized how violent a game called Ravager would actually be. Instead, I got a much, much darker breeding and conquest experience with demons, wolf girls, cat girls, Mummies, tentacles, and absolutely no frolicking in an autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Now, this list was supposed to be 10 titles, but I felt the need to revisit a game I covered in my new Steam releases of March video. 
What I didn't know about Mutant Alley Do the Dinosaur is that it's just the first in a series of dinosaur-related sexcapades, including a Fifty Shades of Grey-inspired BDSM title, full VR support, and animations. Not only that, but you can order 3D printed models of your favorite Dino Dom off of Tales Up for Tyranno's website. I'm not sure about how anatomically correct all of this is, but you have to respect Tyranno's commitment to paleontology. I hope you all had as much fun with this video as I had making it. I feel that one of the most important parts of a healthy sexual exploration is not to take things too seriously and try to have fun. So let me know which plant, whale, demon, or magical dragon you think is the best. And as always, no shaming, just gaming.